In this video, we're going to cover how to read data into the DXM controller and how to write that data to an output device. Data can be read from devices that are hardwired to the controller, or data can be read from wireless and remote devices. Different controllers have different I.O. configuration. Review our instruction manual for more information. In this example, I'll show you how to read data from a wireless node. Then I'll show you how to write that data to turn on an output via a write rule. An output can be a hardwired device, a remote wireless device, or the controller's onboard LEDs. In order to utilize the functionality of the DXM controller, we must first read data into the local register via a read rule. I'm connected to a DXM 700, so I'll select it in the software. You'll find the read rule under Register Mapping and RTU Read. Click Add Read Rule. It's important that you rename the register you create. This will aid you in knowing what your data is related to. From slave ID 1, which is the radio board, we're going to read the first six registers from node 1, starting at register 17, which is the first input of node 1. We're going to store that data in the first six registers of the local register. Next, we're going to go to local registers. You'll notice the six registers we just created appear. You'll also notice there's no information associated with these registers. We'll add that information here. Since we have multiple registers, I'm going to use the Modify Multiple Register tab to automatically number them from 1 through 6. I'll click on Name and set Name to Node 1 Inputs. I'll click Increment to automatically number the registers from 1 to 6. I'll also click on Units, then Set. You'll notice you have several options to choose from. Since my inputs are discrete, I'll select On Off. I'm going to click on Modify Register to add the changes. The nodes are now numbered from 1 through 6, and on-off units have been added to all nodes. To make these changes take effect, we need to save and send the XML file to the controller. The green light at the bottom of the screen indicates the software is loading. When it's finished, you'll get a green light under Application Status. This brings us to Register View. You'll find Register View under Tools. This is where you ensure the data you set up with the read rule is being read into the local registers. Starting at register 1, I'm going to read the six registers we just set up. Click Enable Polling, then Begin Polling. This tells the gateway to automatically pull data from the connected node. When nodes 1, input 1 is activated, it registers in local register 1. Now we know the read rule is working correctly. For more information on the ISM board, which is the radio board, and its relationship to the processor board, please review our DXM100 Register Overview document. Okay, this brings us to the write rule, which is under Register Mapping and RTU. Click RTU Write, then add Write Rule. I'm going to name this Node 1, Output 1, Red. It'll turn on when Local Register 1 goes high which is the same as node 1, input 1. Okay, let's set this up. We're going to write one register from local register 1. We're writing that data to slave ID 201, which is the LCD board. And we're writing that data to register 1102, which is the number 1 red LED. In order to make these changes take effect, we need to save the file, then send it to the controller. Again, the green light at the bottom indicates the loading status. When nodes 1, input 1 goes high, the red LED turns on, indicating that you have written your read and write rule successfully. Thanks for watching.